In this video, I'd like to do a quick demonstration about how to use the Student Canvas app along with PDF Expert and re-upload the assignments correctly to the assignment drop boxes. Now, this is really important when you're filling out any worksheet that you want to turn in at completed and as the worksheet should be turned in. So the first thing we're going to do is go into the Canvas Student app. I'm set up on a test student account on here so that I can do this demonstration. You go into one of your courses, okay, and you see that there's assignments due. You can normally, you can either look at the modules, which actually is what we prefer for you to look through the modules and see what's open or not. Okay, you can also go to the assignments and you can see what assignments are due and available at this point on the left-hand side. Or... You can go to the to-do list and you'll see all the due dates on the left-hand side and you'll figure out what you have to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of the labs that I know is due at this point, okay? Or we can actually look at an end of the chapter homework. Now, I'm not going to fill this out with the right... Uh, actually, we'll look at a lab because we know that there's a PDF file attached to the lab there. Okay, HVAC R1416 Lab 16. Okay, we have to download the file. So when we open it, unfortunately, the Canvas student app does not know to open it as a PDF. It wants to open it in its own application. Yes, you can write on it and everything else like that, but you're not going to be able to submit it properly. Okay, so what we need you to do is we need you to go ahead and click the little export area up there at the top. Okay, and you're not going to find PDF Expert on this list. You're going to have to show more. Okay, you're going to copy to PDF Expert. It's going to open PDF Expert, and it's going to open the lab. Okay, so it's going to say basically it's been imported to my files. Okay, so now you can go down here. Okay, you can type whatever you want in here. Answer one here. Okay, and you can go ahead and you can put in whatever you need to put in just by typing. Now, I'm not going to do this whole worksheet or whatever because it just because that's not the point of this video. Okay, so once you have your numbers filled in that you're going to fill in, okay, then what you need to do is you need to basically save this. Okay, and to save it, okay, you're going to come up here okay and you're going to save a copy we have to save the copy because you have to turn it in as a flattened copy okay so the best thing you can do for your instructor is to put your name on here right in the file name so when we download them we know who we did just save it to my files okay and click save so again you're going to click save a copy you're going to click save as a flattened file save it okay and I want to dis um, and I'm going to discard the changes of my original file because again, once it's done, I real it really doesn't matter. Okay, and I'm going to close out my original file. Okay, so I'm just I have way too many files open here. Occasionally close them out. Every one of these tabs gets open and starts causing problem. Okay, now when you take a look at your my files area. You will see that all of the labs you turned in, like this one right here, is the file you just saved. And you can actually, if you look closely at it, you'll see that it has the print and everything else like that. Now we got to submit it. So double click your home button, go back to your Canvas student app, okay, and we go back, and now we can, sum we can submit the assignment. So we want to do a file upload. Choose your file. We're just going to select the files on the bottom right. You're going to go to basically going to browse. You're going to find your PDF expert folder. Okay, which will eventually start having more. And then you're going to see you're going to have your schematics. Okay, and everything like that in here. Now, if it's not on the iCloud drive. You can come back in here and you can say, okay, PDF expert. 
okay? And you can find the file. It's either going to be on iCloud or it's going to be local. Find the file you're trying to find. Click on the file. It's going to upload it and submit it, okay? Now, again, you can resubmit and stuff like that, but that way you're giving me the actual PDF, okay? Remember, we do not officially support the Canvas application at Porter and Chester Institute or YTI, okay? We support the browser method of doing things, and we support files being submitted using PDF Expert to do the editing. That way you get the same PDF files in. So hopefully that helps somebody a little bit. Again, your whole um, your whole way of doing this is you can... Let me just pull another file here. Um, if I come in here, I'll find... Yeah, let's find another lab. Yeah, we can come into Basic Math Lab. You take the PDF. It opens it. Take it out of here. Three dots. Copy to PDF Expert. Let it open. Do your work. Okay, I'm just going to say do work because I'm trying to keep this short. Done. Okay, we got to now save it as a copy. Okay, and get rid of the copy and just put your first initial last name or put your name on there. Flatten copy. Save. Get rid of the changes to the original document. You have the flatted copy. Why do you why not need it? You don't really don't need it. Okay, get rid of that. Double click your home button. Come back to student. Go back. Because you go to the assignment spot. Submit assignment. File upload. Files. Okay, you have your math C Molnar or whatever you submit, submitted it. And then your instructor has all of the files, all of the writing you did on it, okay? And there's no missing pages, there's no questions. Okay, hopefully that helps you.